And the scripture says it this way at another, a generation that knew not God. They knew religion. They knew the Bible. But our question this morning is, do we know God? We know the rules, but do we know God? We can quote the Bible, do we know God? Are we that people of Deuteronomy 4 that have heard the voice of God? It's shaken the pillars. It's caused us to fall at His feet as dead. It's caused us to cry and say, Woe is me! And the need for that coal from the altar to be put upon our lips. It's appointed unto man once to die, and then the judgment. What kind of an influence is there on our lives on a daily basis by the knowledge that 90, probably 9% of everybody we rub shoulders with is going to a devil's hell? And what have we said to them? About this free gift of salvation. When we talk about living in the supernatural, I want to talk this, this morning a little bit about being free from the intimidation of men. That fear that Satan puts in every one of our hearts of being rejected, of not being accepted in the crowd, of being concerned with what people might think about us. And it's in every one of us. You can't deny it. And this desire, this, this, this need of, of being filled with Holy Ghost power as they were on the day of Pentecost. To where we'd become a people that, that are compelled, that we cannot help but speak the things that we've seen and heard. I'm convinced that the reason we're not bolder witnesses is because we're not seeing or hearing anything. We've memorized the way of the Master. We've memorized the Roman road to salvation. But we've not encountered God. Because when you come into the presence of God, you got to tell somebody. When that coal has been put upon your mouth, you got to tell somebody. And we're not concerned with what men think in those moments that we've encountered God. Another generation that knew not God. 